Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Gemini's broken heart reading for the month of November. In this message, Gemini, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this month, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the energy in this portion of the message. We'll look at how your person is viewing the challenge, what their true intentions are moving forward. We'll look at anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Gemini, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Gemini. Now I'm going to read this as your energy, your person's energy. Take this as it resonates as well as the roles can be reversed, guys. Okay, so feel free to flip-flop the energy. The challenge that we see coming out here is this relationship, this situation between you and this person is becoming draining. It's becoming toxic. Okay, and we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. This is the challenge here, Gemini, the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Devil energy. So even though you may be in a stable position, you may be very certain of yourself, where you're headed, this back and forth energy with this particular person is very draining on your energy. The energy surrounding you, Gemini, is you're trying to have patience with this person, trying to have patience with the process. I feel like you have an intense connection with this person, maybe have already been engaged, gotten married, committed to this relationship. Now, your person, I feel like, is back and forth. The person being channeled here is back and forth, and I feel here... Um, they know the intent they know how you feel they know you view this as a deeper level connection and i feel here gemini that they use that to their advantage okay they're very strategic when they're dealing with you in this energy i feel like this is them just being very happy go lucky but again, Gemini, when they do whatever is pleasing to them and not what's beneficial to both of you, it drains your energy because there's resistance. So let's clarify before we dive any further. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. We're going to start here by clarifying the temperance. King of Wands, the Hierophant energy for Gemini. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, the information is all linked below in the description box. The Temperance, King of Wands, Hierophant. The Emperor in the reverse with the star in the reverse. Now, Gemini, this is clarifying your energy. I feel like there is an energy of holding on to something from your past. It could be with this person. It could be with somebody else. But this is causing you to try to control the outcome of the situation. And that's why there's this resistance. Let's clarify the... Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Swords. Now, the energy that's coming out here, Gemini, we have Earth energy, air energy, fire energy. Okay. 
what I see coming out here on your person's end is there is this fear of commitment, nine of swords, fear of new beginnings, new adventures, trying again, because there's a lot of water under this bridge. Even though this person may miss you, Gemini, and they do want to make this work, there's an energy of starting to feel lighter as you guys are disconnecting. And I feel like you're feeling this as well. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles with the... So, Gemini, this past energy that you're holding on to is a different connection. What I will say is by you holding on to whatever took place in the past, okay, maybe it's a person cheated, maybe they lied, maybe they ran off. Understand that you're going to know a person's intentions by paying attention to their actions, okay? Pay attention to what they do over what they say. And I feel here, Gemini, that you're coming to this realization. Trying to control the outcome isn't working. Let's dive a little bit deeper here into your person's energy. I do feel like you are distancing. There's a distance here. So distancing yourself from this person or you have already initiated some distance. I do feel like this person thinks about you and this connection a lot. I feel like you think about this person and this connection a lot, but there's this toxicity that's hindering the growth of the connection, this resistance. And Gemini, I don't want to say it's you because I feel like it's both parties, but the energy that, that's coming from your side is one that's trying to control the outcome. Let's dive a little bit deeper here into the energy, Gemini. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. First, look at how this person views the challenge here with Gemini. Please and thank you, Spirit. How does this person view the challenge? Okay. So, there has been an ending between the two of you. Okay. I feel like this person feels lost without the connection. Six of Swords, Four of Cups, the death energy. This person, def there's definitely a lost energy that is coming from these cards, okay? This person wants to come back together. They want to reconcile differences. However, Gemini, I feel here that there is an energy of, is this working? You're questioning, is this working for you? And right now, I don't feel like it is. So the true intentions here moving forward for Gemini and this person. Please and thank you, Spirit. What is the true intentions? Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Lovers is on the bottom of the deck. So there is an intense connection that's felt here between you and this person. I feel here like this person wants to reconcile differences, find a balance between the two of you, but is this working is really what it's boiling down to, right? And even though there is an intense connection that is felt here, what's hidden, right? What's being kept secret? Let's see. Anything that's hidden that Gemini needs to be made aware of, let that come to the forefront of the reading, please and thank you.
I feel like this person in the past, Gemini, has ran off. They have played the field, played a game with your heart, betrayed your trust. And I feel that even though they're trying to move forward from this, this is something that you're still holding on to, that you're still having a hard time letting go of. Okay, Three of Swords energy. I also feel, Gemini, that this person feels that there has been some form of betrayal of trust from your end as well. So it's almost as if there's a mirroring energy that's going on here, okay? Trying to move forward from this, right? Trying to find a balance, find the lesson that needs to be learned and move on and learn the lesson. So where is this headed? If Gemini and this person stays in this energy spirit, where is this headed? Please and thank you. So if you guys can't come together and have a conversation about what's going on here between the two of you, there is a lot of unrest, unhappiness, uncertainty. I don't feel like this would work. You guys can't sit down and have a conversation. Three of Wands, there's a need to get clear on that bigger picture vision. What position do you want to give this person in your life, if any? And vice versa for the cross watcher. Evaluate, is this something that you want to accept, right? Is this a behavior pattern or is this something that can be changed, something that can be fixed? If you don't think it can be fixed, if this is too much water under the bridge, unhappiness, then maybe it's time to reevaluate the position that you're giving this person in your life, Gemini. And that's coming from the bottom of my heart. Instead of trying to control the outcome, control this person's reaction, make them do ex the right thing or exactly what you want them to do, maybe it's time to just walk away. So... Gemini... Pull a few cards out here for advice, guidance moving forward on how to shift the energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look at what this person would like to say that they're not telling you. Any other influences that are present? Can it be saved? Is it worth it? It's all going down in the extended version. And the links are all below. Have the wheel. King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles. So Gemini, I feel like there is a need to let this go. Okay? Let this fall by the wayside. Focus on new things new experiences coming in. I feel like there are some positive experiences, maybe even new people that are going to be coming into your life, bringing in more stability, more positivity, in better alignment with your future and where you see yourself headed. So trusting the process and being open to those experiences is going to be important here. Looking at the situation very straightforward, very practically queen of pentacles is a self-care card guys so whenever the queen of pentacles comes up in a reading especially if it comes up twice this is an indication that you need to put yourself first in this scenario and what is best for you your stability your highest good gemini you have unrequited love there's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going. Wedding. The situation may involve marriage. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So getting something off your chest is going to be important. I feel like that's going to give you closure. Gemini, 
for most of you, this person was in another relationship. They had ran off. They had walked out. They had caused the complication. Don't feel bad by putting yourself first in this scenario. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. If you're interested in the extended version, links are all below. If you're interested in a personal reading, links are all below. There's no other place where you can get a personal reading besides on my website and contacting me through email. So Gemini, thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.